Hello and welcome back, everybody. You know we're here for Author Talk Shorts, and it wouldn't be an Author Talk Short if we weren't joined by Breakfield and Berkey. And, you know, there's a little birdie going around telling me that you guys may have a new audio book. So, oh yeah. Gosh, sure. yeah. Tell me all about it. Your voice actor is here, Derek Scholz is here joining us so the little birdie was correct so fill me in tell me all about it so we uh we uh, we, we we corralled him and said look quick we, uh, we need that we need the best of the best and he's like oh, really you guys again oh, oh, you know and the next thing i know we've got him hooked and he's like um and it's so good having uh having your face to pull with a voice Derek. i mean sometimes um, you know, when we get the uh, the new chapters, it is mm. popcorn night for us because we like <laughs> we can't believe you know nice. hey you know these people write some good stuff, but he makes it like it's 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 in your face gold. It, it really is that. And so, Derek, you, this is like the I think it's the sixteenth book you've you've done for us. I think so. I, the only one I haven't done was the very first one. That's the only one that I haven't actually narrated for you. Yeah, so I mean, it, you've like been our best friend and our partner mm. for a very long time, and we appreciate that. Yeah. But this is a bit different. Did you find this to be surprising in any way when you were going through it? Because I know you you go through it like yeah. thorough. Well, yeah, I mean, you know, part of the process is I have to read it first in order so I know how the story ends. Because last thing I need is to be surprised like the audience, because that does not go do good. Um, <laughs> but um, the one thing I always expect, like whenever I get into one of your books is like it's going to be a different subject matter like there's going to be a major overarching theme that's different for each one i mean there was one like crypto was a big one then there was one that was like you know um ai then there was one that was like you know uh biogenetics so like you know it's always wondering what's going to be the the technical focus for this one and seeing this was actually you know dealing with human trafficking and st that was a surprise i wasn't expecting that but i'm like oh, okay we can work with that <laughs> So, so did you find that the variety of voices, because that's really your strength, you have a lot of um, flexibility and, mm. and range and your memory for keeping accents correct is always stunning. So, so did you find this one had, had a lot of variety in it? Yeah. Well, I pretty much know every one of your books is going to have a lot of characters from a lot of different ethnicities. So I'm like, oh, goodness, where are we? Where are we going now? So I was, I was appreciative that we kind of focused it like to to you know, Central Amer the, the Americas instead of like, oh, it's a globe hopping one again. Um, but as far as like remembering like the accents and stuff like that's I have MP3s of every single character that named character that has been in the series just because I know you guys like to pull it. Where like a guy, a character from five stories back suddenly pops up, and I'm like, "Well, crud! How did I narrate this guy?" So I have to find the MP3 of him. Like, oh, there he is, and then I actually get the accent right. <laughs> I love yeah, they keep that. you on your toes, yeah. <laughs> or annoy him to death, one or the other. Exactly. <laughs> It's a I work. It's it. like a, it's like an exercising. I like I go to the gym and so I just narrate this book, and I have to do all these different accents. There you go. <laughs> Well, and I, I try to give you a little bit of heads up with the uh, with the, the cheat sheet up front. Yeah. Here's here's somebody that we used back in you know book number twelve yeah. or number you know two two episodes ago, and uh, um and then sometimes I, I love the times where it's like, um, Derek, uh, I don't have an idea about this one. Um, yeah. You may indulge yourself on this one, <laughs> and you come up with some of the best voices. And I, I you've got one from book ten. I'll tell you about it some other time, uh, but uh, it still sticks in my mind. You, you right. did Halverson's voice. I still mm. wake up God, in the morning man, laughing about that. that. That was <laughs> brilliant. Yeah, I mean, um, oh, yeah. that sounds pretty much like like uh, Halverson sounded like. So, um, <laughs> I, I will say there have been times where you surprised you surprised me. Oh, when you did this character back in this book, and I'm like, really? Okay, so I start looking. I'm like, oh crud! I didn't get an MP3 of that one. So then I got to pull up the source files from that, and then like find them. In, okay, there he is, and then catch it so I can actually do it again. But you've gotten me a few times on that. <laughs> <laughs> well, you wouldn't know it if anybody ever listened to any of our stories because you are phenomenal from start to finish, and we so appreciate you. So if there's is there one line from this story that you think was 
memorable Oof. that you want to make sure and tease people about and say, hey, go listen for this line. Honestly, I don't remember the exact line, but it was one of the one of the first ones. It was one of the in the first chapter, I think it was when it was just these these uh, highway patrol or whatever when they pulled over the 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 semi truck with the the um, the people yeah. inside of it. Yeah, and just like the guy who got on the truck, his his whole lines where he was just horrified. That kind of set the tone to me for how it was going to be. So uh-huh. it was like right in the very first part of the book where I was like, oh, crud, we're dealing. Okay, we're going this way. All right. So that yeah. that was where it stuck in my mind. After that, a lot of the characters, you know, were like, you know, thankfully being like themselves and stuff, especially now that they've actually ascended into different areas and, you know, in different other industries and stuff too. But that first one was always the one that kind of stuck with me the most. I think that's awesome. Thank you, Derek. Yeah. Crazy. I am still just astonished that you've done all of their books, but their first one, yeah. like, oh my gosh, but their <laughs> first one, you should do their first one. We need to complete. It's like family. Okay. It's family. It's got, we've got to complete this whole thing. Okay. Like we, we have to do it, but no, we're talking about Enigma forced, mm. right? Roxanne. Yes. That is the one that we're talking about. That is the latest audio book that has dropped. So I want to make sure that you guys go and check it out. But you know, it wouldn't be an author talk short if we didn't have a part two of it. So you got to stick around. Come on back and join us for part two, where we're going to dive in a little bit deeper into Derek Scholes and how voice acting and how it all, now that we know he's got MP, what is it? MP4 of voices. (laughs) Because, you know, Brickfield and Berkey like to throw some zingers in there every now and then. And we all know that. So come on back for part two. But until then, bye for now, everybody.